Hello everyone. Today is the second lesson in math grade 3. We will answer question number 4. Last time we stopped in question number 3. Now we are going to answer question number 4. Question number 4 said here, follow me please. Complete these doubling chains. Okay. So today going to answer from A to E doubles. Okay. Let's start. Doubles means we are going to add the same number to itself. How is that? For example, we have number 2. To double number 2, we have to add it to itself. So, we are going to add it 2. The answer is 4. So, double of 2 is 4. Okay? Let's try another example. What is the double of 3? How are we going to find out? We're going to add 3 to itself. So we're going to find out the double. So 3 plus 3 equals 6. So the double of 3 is 6. Let's do the third example. Now, now the double of number 4. What is the double of number 4? I told you how to find out. We have to add the number to itself. So 4 plus 4 equals 8. So the double of 4, 8. Well done. Now we're going to answer question number 4 together, okay? Let's do that. So A in number 4 here, it's 2. So we're going to find out the double of 2, okay? Then the answer here, we're going to find its double, okay? So let's start doing that together. So A said two two we have two in a circle, right? After that we have two empty circles, right? So now we're going to find out how we're going to answer this. So, as I told you, right? How are we going to find out double of number? We have to add it to itself. We have a number here, which is number 2. So, 2 plus 2 equals 4, right? Good. So, the double of 2 is 4. Now we finish. We're not going to look at this side at all, right? We're going to look here. What do you have the answer here? Four. Now we're going to find out the double of four. Okay, so we're going to add number four to itself. Good. Four plus four equals eight. Well done. So the answer here eight. Now can we do B now together? Yes. B we have circles. First circle, we have number 7. After that, we have two empty circles. We're going to find out the double. What is the first number here? 7. So what is the double of 7? How to going to find out? By adding number 7 to itself. So 7 plus 7 equals 14. Well done. So what we're going to write in the first circle, 14. Good. Now, we're not going to look here anymore. We're going to look at this circle. What is the number here? 14. Good. So we're going to add 14 to itself. Okay. 14 plus 14. What is the answer? 20. Eight. Well done. So double of 14 is 28. Now let's do C. C we have three circles, the same. Okay. The first number is 9. What we're going to do? Going to add 9 to itself to find out the answer here. So 9 plus 
9 equals 18. Well done. So the first circle here, 18. Good. As I said, you're not going to look back here anymore. Now we're going to look at this number, okay? So we'll write 18 plus 18. Okay, do you know how to do that? It looks like a big number to add, right? So write it like this way. Let's try it with a red marker. Going to write 18 plus 18. Okay, 8 plus 8 equals 16. Good. I'm going to put the 6 down and I'm going to take this one up. So we have 1, 1, 1. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 1, 3. So the answer, 36, right? So 18 plus 18 equals 36. So the third answer here, 36. Good. Let's do D now. D we have 5 at the first circle. So what is the double of 5? What you're going to do to find out? We're going to add 5 to itself. Good. So 5 plus 5 equals 10. Well done. So what we're going to write here? 10. Good. Now, we're not going to look here anymore, as I said. Now, what is the number here we have? 10. So the same step we're going to do it with number 10 here. We're going to find out the double of 10, okay? By adding 10 to itself. So 10 plus 10 equals, I told you, if you find a big number and you couldn't do it, you're going to write this number under each other, like this way. 0 plus 0, 0, 1 plus 1, 2. So the answer is 20. So what is the double of 10? 20. Good. Now the last one, E. Now E, we have 4, right? So the first thing we're going to do, yes, add 4 to itself. 4 plus 4 equals, very easy, Eight. Well done. So what we're going to write here, we're going to write eight. Now we're not going to look here anymore. Forget this circle. Now we're going to look here. What do we have here? Eight, right? So now find the double of eight. What is the double of eight? We're going to add eight to itself. Let's start. Eight plus eight equals sixteen. Well done. So the answer here, sixteen. That's it. Now let's go to question number five. I'm going to read the question. Please follow me. Draw a line to match each division with the correct answer. Draw a line to match each division with the correct answer. Okay, so what we're going to do here? We're going to find the answer of division here. Then we're going to match it. We have here answers and here we have the sums okay so up here sums division okay here the answers now we're going to find out where is the answer for each one of them then we're going to match it okay let's start with the first one which is 40 divided by 4 40 divided by 4 good so we have 40 divided by 4 equals how we're going to find out. We're going to find find out by multiplication. Which number we multiplied by 4 will give us, will give us 40 as an answer. Okay? So it's easy, of course. It's 10 multiplied by 4 equals 40 as you said good so the answer is 10 good let's go to the second one now 
So now we found the answer of number one, right? Which is 10. Matter to 10. And let's go to number two. 18 divided by 3. 18 divided by 3. So let's write it here. 18 divided by 3 equals, now, which number, if we multiply it by 3, will give us 18 as an answer? It's number 6, good. So, 6 multiplied by 3 equals 18, good. So, the answer is 6, good. So now, match the answer. We said 18 divided by 3 equals 6. Match it to number 6. Let's go to the third one now, which is 4 divided by 2. So, 4 divided by 2. The answer you will find it in timetable 2. So, which number we multiplied by 2 will give us 4 as an answer, which is 2. Yes, 2 multiplied by 2 equals 4. Well done. So the answer is 2. So now match it to 4 divided by 2 match to number 2. So the answer is 2. 4, 32 divided by 8. 32 divided by 8. Let's find the answer. So, 32 divided by 8. So, the same step. Number, going to need number multiplied by 8 will give us 32 as an answer, which is number 4. Good. So, 4 multiplied by 8 equals 30. Two. So the answer is 4. Good. So 32 divided by 8 equals 4 because 4 multiplied by 8 equals 32. So now match it to number 4. 32 divided by 8 equals 4. Now number 5. 42 divided by 6. Let's find out the answer. 42 divided by 6 equals which number we multiplied by 6 will give us 42 as an answer. Number 7. 7 multiplied by 6 equals 40. Two. So the answer is 7. Well done. So now, 42, 42 divided by 6 equals 7. Good. So match it to number 7. Now we have the last one, which is 45 divided by 5. 45 divided by 5. Let's start. 45 divided by 5 equals equals what? 9. Why? Because 9 multiplied by 5 equals 45. So the answer is 9. So now, last one, which is 45 divided by 5, the answer is 9. Good. Now let's go to question number 6.